True Life Trio is three women who love to sing together. We sing repertoire mostly from Eastern Europe. We also do original music. But the main thing that defines us, and we think about this a lot because we do so many different kinds of things, we're always like, who are we? You know, how do we define ourselves? And for me, I think it's, it's all about the voice. I could not forget, you cannot remember August afternoon, rub a glittering We will take a walk always in the evening Already before I think that True Life Trio's unique sound comes from the fact that we've all sung folk music for a long time, and we each also as individuals have different sounds that blend together very well and create a very enmeshed sound that is such a joy. We got together about five years ago, probably, and it was my on my instigation. I was wanting to sing some harmonies with um, with women that I love and who I had experience singing with. We had all formally sang in a Kitka Women's Vocal Ensemble, and so we just kind of like threw it all together and kind of made this little soup, and um, and then we were off to the races. <laughs> Like Never and Like Always is a project that was commissioned by the East Bay Community Foundation. It came out of our desire to create a project that sort of expanded our boundaries and th lived outside of our boxes. The album was a, a product of a live performance that we did where we're tracing a life journey. We're starting sort of at the end of life and then going back in time toward the beginning. A life lived in reverse is a really interesting way to explore memory. Here in heaven lies a buzzing, thought I was when work is done and The songs in our repertoire come to us in a variety of ways. In the case of Like Never and Like Always, we in particular found poems that inspired us, and we used those poems as lyrics. I cannot tell that avalanche Once the piece was premiered, we were like, okay, now we're just gonna go into the studio and record all the music. And we got in here and we realized this is a really great opportunity to create a listening experience. We thought it would be really great to create some soundscapes. And working with EO, Eric Oberthaler, we were able to accomplish that. Julie and Leslie and Bridget came to me and asked me to be a co-collaborator with them. We managed to create something that was more than just a series of tracks. It felt kind of like a, an old school concept album in some ways. Having Gary on this album was a really smart decision on our part, I think. he's an incredibly skilled musician, and it added a lot to have his expertise and his inspiration really helped guide the path of this album. It's been a really fun, creative journey for us, you know, and that pushed our boundaries. We're just hoping with this project that we're able to transport people to another world. I will never